Have you prepared the breakfast? I am still cooking ma. What rubbish is that? You are still cooking. What have you been doing since you woke up? I have been cleaning the house ma. Cleaning the house since in the morning. You made it sound like you cleaned the whole community. Look, you cannot kill me like you killed my sister your mom. I won't allow that rubbish here. Aunt, I did not kill my mother. She died why giving birth to me. If you did not kill her, who did? You couldn't come to the world gently like other babies do. You had to make it difficult for her to give birth to you. After you were born, complications arose. What a way to come into the world. That's why you are so clumsy and dumb too. Quickly finish the breakfast. I have clothes for you to wash. Mind you, you cannot use the washing machine. I like my dresses hand washed. Do you hear me? Yes ma. Good. Yes, what do you want? Aunt please. I finished my high school some time ago, and I will like to further my education. Ah. Uh, you want to go to the university. With whose money? With which brain? Now the university is not meant for people like you. Please don't kill me with laughter. It's like you are idle that's why you are thinking of going to the university. Well, I have a job for you. There are grasses at the entrance of the gate. Make sure you clear them. When you are done, make dinner. Is that okay? <laughs> yes ma. Great. Hi Sonia, how are you doing? I am fine thanks. What are you doing with the grasses? Don't you have a gardener? We do, but my aunt said I should clear the grasses. Why would she do that? I asked her a question, and she got angry and said I should clear them. Your aunt is mean. Not really. She is just angry. Where are you going to? I am going to the supermarket. My mom sent me to buy some groceries for the house. Okay. See you later. Yeah, bye. Bye. Are you done clearing the grasses? Yes, ma. I need a massage. My legs hurt. Get the balm in my room for me. Massage. Aunt please my hands are hurting because of the grasses I cleared. Your hands hurt. The massage will help to stretch it for you. Get the balm for me and do it ASAP. Okay, ma. Sonia, my daughter will be coming back from school tomorrow. So, I want you to clean her room. Check her dresses for dirty clothes and wash them. Clean all her shoes and arrange the wardrobe. Is that clear? Yes, ma. Oh God, why is my life like this? Why did you take my mother and put me here in bondage? I can't go to school like my niece even though my grades are better than hers. When will all these humiliations and servitude end? When? I am tired already. Mother, I don't know you but I wish you are here with me. I wish you didn't have to go. I don't know what it means to have a mom. Imagine, I have to clean the room of a girl that is like my junior sister. I'm practically a maid in this house. Hey Sonia, how are you? I am doing well Jane. Would you like to go to church with me tomorrow? Church. To go and do what? To go and worship God of course. Worship the God that took my mom. I can see you are bitter against God. Why won't I Sonia? God took my mom when I was barely a day old. My aunt took me in and brought me up as her maid. She took care of her own daughter and made me to serve them both. I can't further my education because she doesn't have the money and I am not fit for the university. Sonia, everything that is happening to you is for a purpose. The Bible says all things work together for good to those who love God, and are called according to His purpose. Romans 8 28 Everything will work together for your good, my friend. You will see. I don't know how you interpret your own Bible. How will the bad things happening in my life right now work for my good? How? God knows everything about you. Your past, your present, and your future. He will make it work for your good. Okay. Sister Preacher, I am not going to church with you. God does not care about me. Period. Okay, no problem. 
I know that someday you will know and understand that despite what you are going through God loves you. God. Loves me. This is funny Jane. Please I have chores to do in the house. I need to go before my aunt notices my absence. Okay, Sonia. Bye. Bye. Sonia, like I said yesterday, my daughter is coming in today. I want to go and pick her from the airport. Please prepare three dishes for her. She deserves the best, and I want the best for her too. Do you hear me? Yes, ma. Hey, mom. I am super excited to be back home. I missed you, sweetheart. I missed you more, mom. Mom, how is Sonia? That stupid girl. She is there. Mom, why did you hate her so much? She killed my sister. If my sister was not impregnated by her stupid boyfriend, she would be alive today. She died and left me with a bitter remembrance. I can't forgive her for it, and I will continue to make her life miserable. Poor girl. Sonia, go and pack my daughter's bags from the car and put them in her room. When you are done, serve lunch. I want to eat with my daughter. Okay, Ma. How are you doing, Nadine? Very well, thanks. How are you doing too? I am fine. Thanks. Please freshen up and come and have lunch. What did you cook? Three different dishes. It's a surprise, so come and see the dishes. Okay, I trust your cooking. Wow, Mom, I enjoyed the food. Sonia is a good cook. I'm glad you liked the food. Which Sonia? I taught her how to cook. But mom, I can't cook like her. You did not teach me how to cook. You don't need it dear. You will marry a rich man that will employ a chef for you. So there is no need to stress yourself. Wow, mom, that's a great idea. Wow. Is that you, Tony? How are you doing? Oh, you are fine. That's great. Oh, Sonia, she is fine. Her final year results. She failed her papers. That girl is very dumb. You want her to come and continue her studies in the States. She is a dullard just like her dad. Why didn't you take my daughter instead? No, why? Because she has me. It doesn't matter. You only want Sonia. Since she cannot pass her exams, I was thinking of sending her to go and learn fashion design. I shouldn't. Why? You want her to go to school? Okay, she should go back to school to rewrite her papers. Okay. You will send some money to her. She should use some of it for shopping. Okay, thanks. I will be expecting the money. Bye. Can you imagine what my brother is planning to do for Sonia? He wants to invite Sonia to the US to come and further her studies. What about my daughter? Sonia will not go to the States. I will make sure she doesn't go to school too. I won't give her a dime from the money he will send. I will share it with my daughter. Foolish girl. She will suffer for her father's sins for impregnating my sister, and then she killed her. She will suffer. Nadine. Yes, mom. Please pack all your dirty dresses out for Sonia to wash. Why mom? I can always wash them using the washing machine later in the evening. No, you need to rest. She is less busy so she can wash for you. Mom, please allow her to rest. Yesterday, she worked throughout the day, while I sit and watch the TV throughout. No, there is no food for the lazy man. We are taking good care of her so the only way she can pay us back is working for us in return. So bring those clothes. Okay, mom. Also select all your old clothes and give them to her. Why? We are going shopping this afternoon. My younger brother sent some money to Sonia, but I won't give her. We will use it to buy new clothes. So give her your old wares. Wow, mom, that's a good news. I need a change of wardrobe. Thank God. But what about Sonia? Shouldn't you buy something new for her? After all, it's her money. No way. We will give her your old clothes. So be fast with it. 
Hey mom, what if uncle discovered that you didn't give her the money? How will he find out? She doesn't have his contacts and I have been trying to stop him from talking to her directly. So, don't worry we are covered. If you say so. Yes, I said so. Now hurry up. Sonia, there are some clothes for you to wash. Pick them up from Nadine's room. As always use your hands to wash them. It is always cleaner, and it saves like Bill. Is that okay? Yes ma. Also you can have some of Nadine's used dresses. So you stop wearing the same dresses over and over again. I don't need them ma. I am okay with my dresses. This is what I am talking about. You don't appreciate anything I do for you. I am trying to help you here so you can get new clothes to wear and here you are rejecting them. Don't worry about my dresses ma. I will be fine. Thank you. Okay have it your own way. Meanwhile, we will be going out in the afternoon. Don't make lunch for us. Look for something to eat. We will be eating out. Okay. So make sure you do all the house chores before we come back, okay? Yes ma. Good. Wow, mom, see lots of beautiful dresses. How many should I pick? Pick as much as you want, darling. Mom, I also need shoes and bags. Yes, you are free to take them too. We have enough money to cover them. Thanks, mom. Hi, Sonia. How are you doing today? I am fine, Jane. Where are you going to? I am going to the bank. I did not see you outside yesterday. I hope you are okay. Yes, I am. My cousin came back from school and I was asked to cook different dishes for her. I worked from morning till in the night. I was so tired. Oh, oh, so sorry about that. It's okay. Thanks. Sonia, you know I like you right and I don't like what you are going through. The only person who can help you is Jesus. Please give him a chance. He couldn't help my mom. Why would he help me? Because you are different. Her adventure your mom didn't even know him. You can be different. Just get to know him. Let him wipe your tears away and help you. Well, let's see. I can use some help if you say he will help me. I am lonely right now. Yes, Sonia. He will help you and fix all your problems for you. Are you ready to give your life to Christ? How will I give my life to him and still live? No, I don't mean that. What I meant is that you are surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. This means you transfer the ownership of your life to God. You make him the boss, the Lord of your life. Then you become the child of God. Okay, now I understand what you mean. So, how do I give my life to Jesus? It is simple. Can you come out here, or should I come in? I will come out. Okay. Okay. Say this after me Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me and rising from the dead so my sins could be forgiven. Cleanse me, forgive me, and make me your child. Take me. All of me. I want to live for you from now on. In Jesus name. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me and rising from the dead so my sins could be forgiven. Cleanse me, forgive me, and make me your child. Take me. All of me. I want to live for you from now on. In Jesus name Amen. Now, you are born again. You need to always pray to God and read the Bible. Do you have a Bible? There is a Bible in the house. I can read it. That's great. So read the Bible every day whenever you are free. Also, talk to God. He hears us when we pray to Him. Okay. If you have any question, you can always ask me. Okay. You also need to go to church so you can hear messages and draw strength from God's word. Okay, I will go with you next week Sunday. Wow, that's a good news. Wow, mom, thanks for the dresses. My wardrobe is new again. You may have to keep your old clothes. Sonia said she doesn't want them. She rejected them. Where will she get money to buy new ones? Obviously, she prefers to wear her old clothes. Okay, it's her choice. Bring in the shopping bags from the car. Okay, Ma. 
Good morning, Ma. Yes. I want to go to church. Go to church. You. Dress like this. Yes, Ma. It's not people like you that God is looking for in a church. It's valuable people like us. But if you want to go, why not? I hope you've made breakfast. Yes, Ma. So, Sonia, were you able to pray and read the Bible yesterday? Yeah, I did. At first talking to God felt awkward. You know I had this notion in my head that he took my mom and made me suffer. But then I realized that despite what happened God is still good. He kept me and didn't allow me to die with her. So, I am grateful to him. Wow. That's lovely Sonia. I know God will change your story very soon. Amen. Thanks. Sonia, I want you to learn fashion design since you are too dumb to go to school. I want to go to school ma. Well, I don't have money to send you to school. Do you have the money to go to school? I can talk with Uncle Tony, he will give me the money. Do you have Uncle Tony's number? Do you think Uncle Tony will give you the money after all you and your irresponsible father did to our sister? At least let me try and talk to him. Can you give me his number? No, I already told him that I am sending you to a fashion school. So prepare yourself for the school. I made inquiries and the new session starts next week Monday you will walk to and fro every day. It is not too far from here. Do you hear me? Okay ma. Hey, young lady, why are you walking alone on the road instead of taking a taxi? I am not going far sir. Besides, it is good to walk. Where are you going to? Baobab Street. That's some distance away. Hop in and let me drop you. No, don't worry about me sir. I will be fine. No, come and hop in and I will drop you. Okay sir. By the way, my name is Kirk. What's your name? My name is Sonia. Okay, Sonia, let's go. Thanks. So how are you doing, Sonia? I am fine. Yeah, so who is Sonia? Nothing much. I graduated from high school a few years ago. I am in the fashion school now. Why didn't you further your education? My aunt can't afford it. Oh okay, sorry about that. Well, you know my name already. I am a doctor and I work in the hospital. Okay. Great. Is this where you stay? Yes. Can I have your phone number? I don't have a phone. You don't have a phone? Why? I can't afford it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi Mrs. Peters. Quiet a long time. How is the family? We are fine, thanks. How is your daughter? She is fine. Thanks. I have a very important issue to discuss with you. Yes, what is it? My son who is a medical doctor is searching for a good woman to marry. I remembered you have a daughter. That's why I am here this morning. I will like her to marry my son. Wow. Is that so? Oh that's very good. I want them to meet with one another first and see if they like one another. Then, we can take it from there. Can he come to see her here? Yes, of course. He is welcome here. Okay, I will tell him. Can I see your daughter before I go? Yes, let me call her for you. Thanks. Good morning Ma. Good morning my dear. What's that your name again? My name is Nadine. Nadine, how are you doing? I am fine Ma. Good. Mrs. Peters was one of my friends in those days. She has a son who is a medical doctor. He needs a wife, and she got of you. She wants you to marry her son. A medical doctor. Mom, I am in. I will marry him. You have not even seen him yet, and you are already happy. Mom, no problem. I know he will be good looking like his mom. When am I going to see him? She will let us know when he will come and see you. So, calm down. Okay, Mom. Hi Sonia, good to see you. I waited for you here yesterday. I didn't see you. What happened? Oh so sorry. One of the teachers was going out so he offered to drop me close to the house. The teacher is a he, right? Yes. Is there anything wrong with that? No nothing of course. I bought you a phone so we can always talk. A phone? 
I can't take it. My aunt will be very angry with me if I collect it. Why will she be angry? It's a long story. Yes, I have the time to listen to you. I have been suspecting that something is wrong somewhere since I met you. So go on. My mom got pregnant outside wedlock. She died when she was giving birth to me. So my aunt took care of me. But she hates me with a passion. Why? She said I killed her sister. She called my dad terrible names. I don't even know my dad. She practically raised me as her maid. I do everything in the house. When I finished high school, I wanted to further my education but she refused. She said she doesn't have the money. But she sent her daughter to the university to study. Wow, is there no one else in the family you could talk to? Yes. I have an uncle in the US. She doesn't allow me to talk to him. Do you have his number? No, I don't each time I request to talk with him, she tells me that he doesn't want to talk to me. I am sure that's not the truth. I wouldn't know. So I just allow things to be as they are. Okay, it's fine. But you need the phone. Just make sure she doesn't see it. I have saved my phone number on it. You can always use it to call me and I will call you on it every day. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Thank you. You're welcome. That Sonia in a man's car. Wonders will never end. Oh, oh. I am in trouble today. My aunt saw me in Kirk's car. Good afternoon, Ma. Where are you coming from? From the fashion school, Ma. From the fashion school, and in a man's car. So you have not been going to school. You prefer to spend your time with a man. So you have chosen to sell your body for money. No, Ma. I don't even know him. He gave me a lift from the school when he saw me walking. So, he is your taxi driver then. From today henceforth, you will not go to school again. I don't want to see you around that man again, never. But I need to finish my course at the fashion school. So you can be a prostitute when you finally graduate. No, not under my watch. This is the end of the school because you will drag our family name in the mud. Now, go to the kitchen and make dinner. Okay. Kirk, I went to see one of my old friends today. She has a very beautiful daughter who is still single. Is that so? Yes, I know you will like her. She is educated and beautiful too. Her name is Nadine. Oh mom, I also met a good and well-behaved lady last week. I really like her. Is that so? No, leave that one. Nadine is better for you. I have spoken with her mother about your intentions to marry her. So they are expecting you to come and see the lady. Thanks mom for your efforts. But I am not interested. I will rather go with this lady. Okay, but even if you are not interested in her, can you please see her for my sake? Okay, mom. I will see her but like I said, I am not interested. Fair enough. When do you want to go? I can go this evening. I will be busy at the hospital tomorrow. Okay, I will text the address to you and also let her know you are coming. Okay, Ma. The address my mom gave me looks like Sonia's house address. What is happening here? Yes, that is number 5 Baobab Street in front. It's Sonia's house. That must be Sonia's aunt. That must be Mrs. Peter's son. But the car looked like the one I saw yesterday. He is even wearing the same clothes he wore. This must be a joke. Okay, let me keep calm first. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. How may I help you? My name is Dr. Kirk, Mrs. Peters' son. She asked me to come and see Nadine. Oh, you are my friend's son. You're welcome, Kirk. Please come inside. Okay, thanks. Please sit down while I get her for you. Okay, thanks. What? Kirk. What are you doing in my house? Please leave now before my aunt sees you. I didn't come to see you. My mom sent me to come and see one Nadine. Nadine. How did you know her? It's my mom. She wants me to see her. For what? I will tell you later. By the way, I searched for you throughout last week. Were you in school? Sorry I have to go. My aunt is coming. Okay. Kirk, meet my daughter Nadine. Okay, Ma. Nadine, meet Dr. Kirk. 
Thanks, Mom. How are you doing, Nadine? I am fine, thanks. You look more handsome than I thought. You are beautiful too. Thank you. Are you by any chance related to Sonia? You know Sonia? Yes, we met few weeks ago. And I like her. So do you know her? Yes, she lives with us. She is my cousin. Oh great, that means you know her very well. Can you tell me more about her? I thought you were here to see me. Yeah, something like that. I didn't know you live here. Since I am here I can as well find out more about Sonia. I like her very much. Wow, what kind of a man are you? Please calm down. It hasn't gotten to that. Can I see her please? I mean Sonia. Sorry, you can't see her. Why? She is a maid in this house and she is busy cooking in the kitchen. Okay, my regards to her. I need to leave now. My regards to your mom. Bye. Mom. Mom R R R R R R. What is it? Where is Kirk? Mom he left. What do you mean he left? He's gone. Did you guys talk? What did he say? Mom. He was asking questions about Sonia. He said he likes Sonia. Sonia. This girl is biting more than she can chew. Do you know that Kirk brought her home from school yesterday? What? Yes, obviously they knew each other. I am going to deal with that useless girl today. Where is she? Good one mom. She is in the kitchen. Deal with her so she can leave my man alone. So Sonia, apart from being a useless girl you are also a witch. Your plan to snatch Nadine's fiancé will not work. Was that not the same guy that brought you back from school yesterday? Hmm. Answer me before I give you a dirty slap. Yes ma. How did you two meet? On the road ma. I told you he offered to drop me at home when he saw me walking. And you couldn't refuse the offer. I was tired. You didn't give me money for a taxi so I have been walking. Is that the reason why you have been sleeping with him ever since you know him? I did not sleep with him. We are just friends. Sonia, look here. I am so done with you right now. Since you have decided to snatch my daughter's fiancé, you cannot stay with us in this house. Pack your things and leave. Please ma, I have nowhere to go. You are the only family I know. You should have got about that before you decide to snatch Nadine's fiancé. I did not snatch him. We are just friends. She can have him as if she needs your permission to marry him. Whether you like it or not, Nadine will marry Kirk. But as long as you are here, it won't be possible, so leave. Please ma. I beg you in the name of God. I said leave. Oh God. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even know Kirk wants to marry Nadine. Oh Lord, where will I go from here? This has been my home since I was born. Where will I go from here? Sonia, what is it? Why are you crying? My aunt threw me out. What? Why would she do that? She said I snatched Nadine's fiancé. What? Snatched Nadine's fiancé. Did you do it? How could I Jane? I can't do that. I did not do it. So where do you intend to go now? I don't know. I have nowhere to go. Okay, you can come and stay with me for a while. My mom traveled. I am the only one at home. I could use some company. Thank you so much Jane. Thank you. It's okay. Come, and let's go home. Okay. Hi Tony, how are you doing? Thank God you called. There is a problem on ground at Sonia. The question is what didn't she do? Sonia is a big girl now rolling with big men in the community. Yes, it's the truth. The latest now is that she has ran away with one of them. She is following her mom's lifestyle. I hope what happened to my sister does not happen to her. God knows that I tried my best to take care of her like my daughter. Where is she? I don't know and I won't bother to look for her. I should look for her. Now she is an adult and she has the right to choose where to live and who to live with. 
She has made her choice, so I am no longer interested in her life. Okay. Bye. That was your uncle on the phone. I needed to let him know that the foolish girl is no longer with us. I am so glad she is no longer here. Me too, but mom, who will cook and wash for us? You should be able to do that. Aren't you a woman? You should know how to cook and wash. Mom, I don't. You only taught Sonia when we were growing up. You always say that I will have a chef who will cook and maids that will wash for me. You said that I shouldn't bother myself. That was then. You need to know how to cook as a woman. You don't expect me to cook and wash for you. Do you? You should have thought of that before sending Sonia out of the house. I am only doing what's best for you. Okay mom, then get a maid or order food for us. I am so hungry. We can order food for now until I find a suitable maid to hire. Okay ma. Meanwhile, I need to talk with Kirk's mom before things spiral out of our control. Okay, mom. But Jane, since I gave my life to Christ, things are getting worse. Is this what you promised me? You said things will get better and that God will fix my problems for me. But look at my life now. Sonia, don't think like that. The Bible says in Romans 8:28, and we are conscious that all things are working together for good to those who have love for God and have been marked out by his purpose. I believe all these things that are happening to you will work out for your good. Jane, how can all the bad things in my life work for good? Especially now that my aunt threw me out. I know because the word of God says so. You will see. Let's pray. I don't feel like praying. I feel like crying more and more. You can cry as much as you want, but let's give thanks to God first. Give thanks to God. Why are your things always opposite? I should thank God because my aunt threw me out. You are funny Jane. We are spiritual people and we have faith in God. We don't judge by what we see because they are subject to change. So because we know that your situation will change by faith, we thank God ahead of what he is about to do in your life. Okay. I get it. So we thank God for our situation because they are subject to change. That makes sense. Okay, let's pray then. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your daughter, Sonia. Your name is Elroy the God that sees. Thank you, Lord, because you see Sonia and what she is going through. Lord, let all these things work together for her good in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are welcome Ma, how is your daughter doing? She is fine, thanks. I hope you are fine too. Yes, everyone is fine, thanks. Did Kirk tell you anything about his visit to our house? No, he hasn't. I am sure he will when he is less busy. Okay. Well, he humiliated my daughter. What? How? Instead of talking to my daughter about their marriage, he was asking her questions about my maid to the extent of telling my daughter that he likes my maid. Can you imagine that? Kirk, in love with your maid, how did they meet? Honestly, I don't know. All I want is for your son to apologize to my daughter and make marriage plans with her. Hmm, I will discuss with my son. If he likes her, I am sure he will make the next move, but if he doesn't, I can't force him to marry your daughter. You know he is an adult, I can only advise him and not force him to marry your daughter. Why not? We need to make them see reasons why they should marry each other. What if he marries the maid? That's fine by me, that is his choice, he is the one that will live with her. Okay. What if I told you that the maid left the house to go and live with a man? Is that so? Yes, she is no longer staying with me. I am sure she is staying with another man somewhere. Oh that means you are not sure of where she is currently. Yes. But like I said, she is likely staying with a man. Okay, thanks for this vital information. You are welcome. Okay, thanks. I will be on my way. Thank you for coming. My love to your daughter. Okay. Kirk, what is this that I am hearing about you dating a maid? A maid? Who said so mom? It's Nadine's mom. She was here earlier today. She said you are dating her maid. Mom, that woman is evil. Don't believe her. 
The lady is not her maid but her niece. She has been maltreating her right from when she was born up until now. I have been looking for the girl since two days ago. I am sure she has thrown her out when she discovered that I like her and not her daughter. She told me that the girl left the house to probably go and stay with another man. That's a big lie mom. Sonia will never do that. That's her name right, so you preferred her to Nadine. Yes mom, I like her. But I don't know where she is currently. What about her friends? Do you know any one of them? She might be staying with one of her friends. Yes mom, thank you. I know of one of her closest friends. Her name is Jane. She lives on the same street. I will go and check her there. Okay son, but are you sure that's who you want and not Nadine? I am sure mom. Don't you trust me when it comes to decision making like this? Have I ever disappointed you? No no, my son. Now run along and go get your girl. Thanks mom. Hi you must be Nadine, my niece. I am Tony. Wow, Uncle Tony, what a surprise. So how are you doing? I am fine, sir. Please come in. Thanks. Mom mom mom, guess what? What is it? Calm down. What is it? Uncle Tony is here. Uncle Tony, your brother in the US. Tony. Are you dreaming? No, mom, I know him, it's Uncle Tony. Okay, let's go and see. Tony, what a surprise why didn't you tell me you were coming? Hi Veronica, I wanted to make it a surprise. A surprise? Okay. So what brings you here? Come and sit down. Okay. Vero, I am here to search for my niece. I know what you told me on phone were lies. I am here to see for myself. I don't want to lose Sonia, like I lost her mom. I will do all I can to find her. So, it has gotten to the point where you don't believe your own sister again because of one useless girl like that. That's my problem with you. You never liked this girl, so you will do all you can to frustrate her. I know what you are capable of doing Vero. Okay. Inspector General Tony. Go and search for your niece. I wish you good luck. Thanks, Vero. I am lodging in a hotel close by. You don't want to stay with me. I am now the devil. No, sis. I want to do my investigations unhindered. Thank you. I will be leaving now. Okay. Can I drop you off? No, thanks. A cab is coming to pick me up. Okay. Can I cook for you? No, thanks. I am not hungry. Okay. Mom, I overheard uncle saying he came to search for Sonia. Is she that important? She is his niece. He likes her so much. Mom, I hope he wouldn't discover you've been spending the money he sends to her monthly. I don't think so. Well, I hope he doesn't he's staying at a hotel. Why? I don't know. But I hope he doesn't find her. That's the only way to keep all the secrets safe. Okay Ma, do you have an idea of where she might be? I don't know. Then you have little to no control over the issue. Yes. But let's hope he doesn't find her. Okay. Hi good evening. My name is Kirk. I am looking for Sonia. She is my friend. She is in. Please sit and let me get her for you. Thanks. Kirk, what are you doing here? What do you mean by that? I have been searching for you. You are the cause of all I am going through now. Why will you say that Sonia? You had an agreement with Nadine to marry her. My aunt told me that I am planning to snatch you from her. So she sent me out of the house. What? I am sorry about that. I have no agreement with her to marry her. It's all between Nadine's mom and my mom. I told my mom already that I am not going to marry her and she agreed. Kirk, I can't continue with this friendship. It has to end. See where it has landed me already. I am practically homeless, if not for Jane that helped me. I don't want problems please. Let me get one thing straight. Do you like me like I like you? Does that even matter? Yes, it does to me. Please you need to understand me. My life is muddled up right now, and I can't think of anything else. Just answer the question. Do you like me? Yes, 
but I can't do this right now. Yeah, your answer is enough for me. I will give you time to relax and we will take it up from there. I love you Sonia and I am ready to fight for you. <laughs> is your phone switched off? I have been trying to call you since two days ago. I forgot it in my bedroom at my aunt's house. I will go and pick it up later today. No, I can't allow you to go alone. I don't trust her. I will go with you. I will be okay, Kurt. I am not a little girl. Even at that, I can't let you go alone. I will go with you. Let's go there now. Okay. Thanks. I need to find Sonia. Oh God please direct my steps to where I can find her. I feel like going back to Veronica's house. Okay, let me get a cab. Kirk, please wait for me here. I will go in there to pick my phone. I won't be long. Let me follow you in, it's not safe for you in there alone. Don't worry. I will be fine. Okay. Hello, can you take me to number 5 Baobab Street? Okay sir. What? What are you still doing in my house? I forgot something very important to me, so I came to pick it. And what did you forget in my house? It's my phone. You have a phone? Where did you get the money to buy a phone? It was given to me as a gift. Gift? I am sure you stole my money to buy the phone. Can you see how God is exposing your wickedness? I didn't steal your money. I told you it was given to me as a gift. Lies. You are a liar. What is going on here Veronica? And who is this lady? Nothing. You don't know her. Why are you here again? Her face looks familiar. She looks like my late sister. Are you Sonia? Yes sir. I am Sonia. I am your Uncle Tony from the US. I have been seeing your pictures. Wow, you look so much like your mom. I have been looking for you all over the place. Veronica told me you left with a man. I didn't believe her so I came down to search for you. Thank God you are okay. Left with a man? Is that what she told you? Yes. I did not leave with a man. She sent me out of the house. Ah, Veronica is wicked. And why are you concerned about my welfare? She told me that you hated me so much because I killed your sister. Hate? Why would I hate you? You are my niece and I love you so much. Why would I be sending money to you every month if I hate you? Money? Which money? I do send money every month to Veronica for your upkeep. In fact, I sent money to you last week to use for shopping. I have never received a dime from her. Each time I ask to speak with you, she tells me that you don't want to hear my voice because you hates me. Veronica, I don't know you can be so wicked. What have you been doing with the money I have been sending to Sonia? Buying my daughter and myself good dresses of course. How do you expect me to give her the money when she killed my sister? You are pure evil Veronica. She killed your sister. I am beginning to think that you have a hand in her mother's death. Lucy, my sister hurt me so badly. What did she do that made you to kill her? My intentions were not to kill her. I just wanted to teach her a lesson. But I wanted to kill the baby in her womb. But then the baby survived and she died. What? Veronica? Wow, so you killed Lucy. How did you do it that everybody thought she died of birth complications? I put a substance in her drink to make the baby die in her womb. Why would you do that? What was her sin? She took the only thing that mattered to me at that time. What was that? My boyfriend Steve. Steve and I were friends while Lucy was at school. When she came back to the house Steve saw her and fell in love with her. Then, he abandoned me. What? Steve, you killed your own sister because of a man. He meant so much to me at the time. So before you know it, Lucy got pregnant for Steve. He planned to marry her after she delivered the baby. I didn't want to see that happen so I made plans to disrupt it. By doing away with your own sister. That was the only option to bring Steve back to me. But it didn't work out the way I planned it. When Lucy died Steve walked away from me. He didn't want to have anything to do with me. 
So I took Sonia to take care of her. The best way to take care of her is by maltreating her and making her think she killed her mother. That is the only way I can reduce the guilt I felt after what I did. Ah, Veronica, you are wicked. You are so wicked. I have never seen an evil person like you. You should be in jail to pay for your sins. But because you are my sister, I will leave you for God to judge. Meanwhile, I will take back all the inheritance that our parents willed for Lucy and give them back to her daughter. What? Tony. You will do nothing of such. Don't even try it. Watch me as I do it. I have all the papers with me. I brought them. When I say all, you know what I mean by that. It includes this house, the car outside, and the business, etc. You are going to give everything back to Sonia today. I will do nothing of such. Stop me and see if you will not land in the police cell to pay for all your crimes. You better go in there and start packing your things. You will leave this house today. Sonia dear, you heard all we have been talking about. I am so sorry for what Veronica did to you and your mom. So so sorry. Before our parents died, they willed their belongings to us. Your mom owns this house, the car outside and the business that Veronica oversees. We gave them to her to use in taking care of you. So, now you are going to take possession of everything. Wow. Uncle. I suffered so much since she took me in. She practically turned me into a maid. She made me work for what is rightfully my own. So sorry my dear, she will leave this house today. Uncle please, can we allow them to stay until they sort out where they will live? No way Sonia, her cup is full. She will have to face the consequences of her actions. She should be lucky I did not report her to the police. Nadine. Go and pack your things. We are leaving this house. Mom, why are we going on a vacation? No, stop asking silly questions and go and pack all your things. But mom, tell me why and where we are going. This house and everything in it belongs to Sonia. She inherited them from her late mom. Ah oh, mom, and you terrorized the poor girl on top of her inheritance. See where it has landed you now. So where are we going right now? Terrorized. Shut up your mouth young lady. Don't talk to me like that. I am sorry mom. It's okay. The truth is, I don't know where to go. Mom, Sonia is a good person. Why don't you beg her to allow us to stay until we can sort out our own accommodation? What did you just say? Beg that stupid and useless girl. I will never do that. If you have no shame, I still have some left. Just go into your room and pack your things. Mom. I don't want to follow you. You are the one that's been punished, not me. If I beg Sonia, she will allow me to stay. Never. She is my enemy, and you can't stay with her. I don't want to repeat myself again Nadine. Okay mom. Good. I can see you are ready to leave. We cannot have an evil person like you be part of this humble family. I hope you have called a taxi, because that car outside will not move an inch. Can I have the keys? It is on the television set over there. Good. Try and reconcile with God and give your life to Christ. It will do you a lot of good. Bye. What's going on inside, Kirk? I don't know, but I hope Sonia is okay. I saw a man went inside about an hour ago. He looks so much like Mrs. Veronica. That must be Sonia's uncle from the US. Okay. Look at Sonia coming to us. Thank God she is okay. Sonia, I was worried about you. You were taken so long to come out. Yes, thank you. My uncle came in, and there were lots of things to talk about. Is that so? The best news is that I own this house and everything in it, including my late mom's business. I also own the car. They were my mom's inheritance from her parents. Unbelievable. Congratulations, Sonia. Wow. I am super excited for you, my friend. Congratulations. I am so happy for you. So where is that your wicked aunt? She is packing her things. She is leaving the house today. Now, did you believe the verse of the scripture in Roman 8:28? <laughs> My friend, all things indeed work together for good for those that love God and are called according to his purpose. 
Yes, the word of God is right. If my aunt did not throw me out, my uncle wouldn't have come and I wouldn't have recovered my inheritance. So now you see. I told you God will fix your problem. He did. Even beyond your imagination. He even gave you a bonus. What bonus? Dr. Kirk. That guy loves you so much. He has been worried about you. Is that so? Yes, please give him a chance. I don't know yet. I need to settle down to my new reality now. Okay. Hi everyone, I don't know your situation right now, but I know Elroy, the god that sees. He sees you, and know what you're going through. Hang in there, the Lord will come through for you just like he did for Sarah in this story. Please share, like, and leave a comment below.